Welcome to Guitars and Bacon, back again doing another reaction video, and today we're checking out a cover of If I Ain't Got You by Alicia Keys from uh, MNL 48's uh, Shecky and Siska of JKT48. Now before we get started, if you want to talk about music, gear, recording, want to hang out while I play video games, head on over to my live stream. I stream on Twitch every Tuesdays and Thursdays, links down in the description below. So we're going to be listening to an Alicia Keys tune by uh, Shecky and Siska, uh, both of uh, their own respective girl groups, uh, MNL48 and JKT48. Now I am familiar with uh, MNL48, um, I'm not really someone who's actually listened to their music actively uh, but I have heard them in passing I don't know any of their songs at all but I do know of them as I actually uh, know someone who is a fan of MNL 48 so there's that unfortunately I don't know the, the name of the member so this is actually the first one that I'm uh, I've gotten to know through this request from uh, one of our awesome commenters so if you guys got further requests leave them down in the comments um, and I'm assuming MNL48 uh, and JKT48 are pretty much uh, girl groups that uh, of the respective countries. Uh, I know AKB48 originally started in Japan with uh, Manila having, or Philippines, uh, having their own version which is MNL48 and Siska, apparently JKT48. I'm assuming this is for Jakarta? I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming uh, that I didn't know how many countries actually have that same concept behind them But I believe this is actually a cover from just two of those members. Um, I have heard of if I ain't got you um, Again, it's not really my cup of tea I have heard it in passing mostly like outside people play it constantly on the radio when when it blew up back in the day, but um, I can't even remember like what the words are. I do know like the very catchy chorus that it had here what the what Shecky and Siska pretty much has to offer on this particular tune. So let's see if there's been any changes or is this pretty much a straight up cover? Would there be harmonies and all that? Let's dive in. <laughs> Okay, cool. Um, so uh, I'm just seeing both of them here um, via split screen. Um, since uh, they're on, they're actually from separate girl groups, not within the same country. Uh, I feel that they're probably recording this at their own respective studios or home studios. I can't see, unfortunately, I can't see Siska's uh, setup here, but like what microphone she's using. I can see a Rode pop filter. So uh, maybe it's an NT1, that uh, condenser mic that uh, she's probably using. It's pretty good for vocals. It's kind of like um, a staple for studios to use for for clean singers. So uh, I'm assuming that's what she's using. Uh, she also has an Audio-Technica, I think this is an M20, and uh, Shecky is using, I'm not familiar with which microphone this is, it's kind of like a little bit obscured, it's a, it's a nice large diaphragm condenser that's kind of flipped um, over, and she's, she's using a Sony headphones, um, I can't remember what this one is. This is a 7506. Uh, I'm a little bit unsure of the model number of the Sony headphones. There, there is a very cool Sony headphones, which is great for mixing music like this because um, it's got a nice flat response. I've been dying to get my hands on, but I don't have the budget for it, so I haven't really looked much into it. Um, but so far, they seem to be uh, using a backing track, so there isn't really a live band that's uh, jamming along while they're singing, which is understandable. You know, you don't really need that since um, it's just a simple cover. It's sounding nice so far. Uh, the piano intro, I don't remember if that's how it went in the original tune, unfortunately. Like I said, I haven't really listened to If I Ain't Got You for so long, I and I don't even remember listening it all the way through and like actually paying attention it's not really my cup of tea so there's that so let's see where this takes us I don't know um, uh, how well the microphone plays with their voice I I, uh, I hope it the mix comes out really well so let's go Some people live for the power, yeah. Oh, 
okay, that, that was nice. Very, uh, the vocal is very pleasant to listen to. Although I think this video isn't really live. They're, I'm assuming this is kind of like being lip sync. They've already recorded the song and they're just filming the video as they, as they kind of like mime to the song itself. Uh, my thoughts are is basically, uh, if you can hear her voice, there's a nice uh, bassy overtone or like overtone to it that you normally would get if you get a little bit closer to the microphone. Like some people live, you, you, you can hear it through that. But if there's a certain distance that you get through that um, and she's kind of like almost whispering. So you would need to be a little bit closer to the microphone to pull off that kind of technique. Um, she sounds, um, yeah, she sounds like uh, she's very up close from, from how the this vocals were recorded. So I don't think this is an actual live performance. Just a guess, and I guess if you look at the background, it's, you know, all white. There's not much, like, sound treatment going on. So a lot of noise can potentially just come in there and it's just plugged in, but not really plugged into the audio interface so that's fine you know you gotta make uh, good visuals anyway so that's that's it's understandable Sounds very pleasant to the ears, absolutely. Um, now, I'm, I'm going off with, with memory here. Like I mentioned, I can't really remember like how it uh, it sounded. I'm just going off with what I think I remember, <laughs> pretty much. Um, her voice is a little bit, um, I don't know, it feels kind of compressed. Mm, like uh, she could have... Uh, it's not as in your face as I would have. Uh, uh, I would have liked. It feels a little bit squished. For some reason, I'm wondering if there is, there's ought to be a lot more like uh, impact in the chorus. It, it feels a little bit too subdued. I know it's it's kind of like a slow R and B tune, but um, I'm, and I'm not telling that she should be screaming or anything. I'm, I'm just saying like like there's a certain vibe that when the chorus pops in there's a little bit more impact to it i don't know maybe you'll well let's see it's the first chorus you know singers do uh play with their dynamics and you you get a little bit more um a lot more in your face um sounding by the second or third chorus so let's see where that goes some people need three dozen Okay, Shaky's voice is, um, I guess it, I, I'm starting to think if Shaky's was actually recorded live. Well, um, she's, her, her vocal uh, sound pretty much sounds right. Like with a distance, there's not much breath going on uh, as opposed to Siska's vocal style. Well, you know, you, you kind of like have your breathy, breathy parts as you get a little bit closer to the microphone and there's a little bit more proximity effect going on but she's got a little bit of distance to it her vocal styling isn't um like like is isn't really too whispery which is fine i mean i like i like vocals that has some some attitude to it as well so um I, i'm i'm sort of digging siska's uh, breathy approach there um probably just the uh the chorus part i mean i'm not too sure how i how to feel about
Becky got that chorus down pat. I really like um, when her chorus actually came up. Um, her vocal styling kind of fit the chorus a lot more as opposed to Siska's. I'm, I'm liking how Shecky did the chorus a lot more than Siska, although Siska sounded really, really well with the verses. It's, it kind of like the the change in uh, in the vocal stylings kind of like gave a lot more impact when the chorus came. It's just that Siska when shift when she shifted to the chorus, her vocal styling kind of uh, stayed a, bit, a little bit too stationary. It didn't really like rise or anything. I don't know if it's just because that's how the first chorus was actually written. Let me know down in the comments. Like I said, I can't remember the cor the actual song it itself. I do remember the chorus having a lot more impact, which I assume is on the second um, and last part of the song, uh, which Shecky kind of delivered really well. A little bit of uh, grit on her voice. It's not too much uh, like what you'd hear in a rock singer. Something reminiscent of what Christina Aguilera would have done, probably. Um, yeah, it, it, it's cool. I guess Alicia Keys also did that as well. But yeah, first thing that comes to my mind would probably be Christina Aguilera's vocal style. But yeah, it, it, it sounded cool. cool. Um, but the, the, first, the first chorus and the second one, um, I was actually expecting that they'd do a harmony. Like, because uh, the mix didn't sound like uh, um, it was balanced at first. So I thought it was like, uh, okay, did they mix intentionally so that Siska's voice would be kind of like the lead vocals for these choruses? Um, but then they shifted on the, I think, it's, I guess that's a third chorus if you like, because uh, we went with Siska's first chorus, Siska's second chorus, and then. Uh, Shecky's third chorus would be the third chorus. So that's kind of like how I heard it. Um, that sounded very well, but yeah, I, I'm not feeling the harmony too much. I don't think it, it blends as well as I was expecting. I mean, that's fine. They're not really part of the same group, so uh, it's not always um, that easy like to just Boom! You get a, you get a magnificent performance from if, if you put one great singer and then one great singer. It's not always that you come up with with the with a better sum. Sometimes it's just like it's better if you guys sang solo or like if you you guys sang with your own respective groups. I don't I don't want to um, uh, think too much that the uh, like this this was uh, this was made because of ego. I I feel like some collaborations like these are just made purely out of the joy of um, like working with someone like, hey let's jam let's uh, see what we come up with let's see if there's any magic to it you know that that's fine I mean I'm, I'm uh, totally all for that so um, it's 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 a nice uh, little tune that they've managed to come up with so far so if I got you with me I think Shecky's mouth closed before the song, um, like her vocals actually finish. So, just a, just a microsecond. So I'm guessing she probably mimed the song itself. So that's fine. I mean, like like I said, it's probably like for visuals only, and they already did the song before they actually recorded everything. So um, that's fine. Uh, visually, it it looks nice. It's very clean. I would have liked. If uh, Siska had a different background, maybe a tad bit darker. It it looks like the white and her white outfit kind of is making her blend uh, too much into the background. So maybe a little bit darker just to give her a little bit more separation. Shecky's um, visuals are pretty cool. Like. It's a slightly gray, unless I'm, you know, I'm, I'm partly colorblind. So, but it looks like she's got nice separation from her background. So she, she actually pops, and uh, you can actually see her separated. So that's cool. Very beautiful performance from both of them. Um, it, it's nice. 
Is it better than the original? Would, would I say it's better than the original? Probably not. I think I think the the first. I think the original definitely is iconic. But is it a bad performance from the both of them? Not really. It's it's a, it's a good tune. Um, they sang really well, uh, and uh, it's just that the uh, uh, I don't think it's like they have a a, a blend with their vocals or maybe there is in the future maybe if they work long enough together uh they'd actually find uh, their sweet spots in their voices and like where they can actually uh, make those great voices actually meld together but who knows maybe in the future we'll see but um that's pretty much about it for me uh what you guys think let me know down in the comments below give it a thumbs up if you like this video hit that subscribe button hit that bell notification icon to be one of the first people to see new content once it's out and uh, one more reminder if you want to talk about music gear recording want to hang out while i play video games head on over to my live stream i stream on twitch every tuesdays and thursdays links down in the description below once again thanks for tuning in to guitars and bacon see ya